Hi parents, I think by now a lot of you are very well aware of what are some of the changes that's coming in in your child's education, right? In the primary school, we have compulsory coding enrichment. For the secondary schools, on top of the biology, physics and chemistry under the science stream, now the kids are given an option to take computing at secondary level and they are learning Python at just 15 years old. Now, there are also parents who have gone the distance to prepare portfolio for the child's direct school admission using tech domain. While there are many benefits that are presented to your child for learning programming, now let us ask ourselves, should our children be learning programming just for this reason? Now let me share with you a bit about my personal story and at the end of the video, I would want you to decide whether should your child even embark on this coding journey. Parents, as I was growing up, um, my mom, just like any other typical Asian parents, focuses a lot on grades. And uh, I remember during the primary school, PSLE, O-level and A-level, uh, she always wanted me to score very well, to get either in the top or in the top three. And I couldn't go back with a failed paper. If not, she will either score me or sometimes the canes uh, will also come out, right? And all the way until SMU, when I take my own a programming module, right, where I learned Java back then. And parents, it was at that moment that I realised the power of programming. I created my own scheduling app that helps to solve my own scheduling problems. I realised that programming opens up a door of possibilities of creation to solve my own problems. And more importantly, at that moment, I realised that all this while that I've been studying, so hard day and night right to try to get the good grades it has been putting me and it's been grooming me into the bottom 80% there are these top 20% who know something that the 80% don't have and when we translate this down to the kids right we tell them that the 20% have a key that the 80% don't have and let me share with you what is this key about so if you are wondering what exactly is this key, this key is not a skill set, but it's a mindset. And when we translate it down to the kids, we want to explain to them the key in this four very simple phrase. Knowing yourself, changing yourself, knowing the world, and changing the world. Well, parents, at this point, if you are confused, let me go through with you what exactly do I mean by that. Now, knowing yourself, when your child comes to Code Kun, we want to understand three things about them. Their ability, their desire, what exactly do they want to do, and their emotions as well, which is something that we can't remove from a child. Knowing themselves alone is not enough. We want them to change themselves to be able to achieve a certain desire. Now, throughout the process of five years uh, teaching programming to young kids, we realise that there are always these three different stages. The first stage is the interest stage where all are so pumped up with the fire burning very high that they are so excited to learn programming. And you know what? After a couple of weeks, they realise that the interest goes down, right? And I think parents, some of you might be able to relate to this as well. Now, the point here is this, interest stage doesn't last. And as we all know, programming is not the easiest subject to learn. Our goal here is to try to push them as fast as possible to the discovery stage where it is no longer all about the interest, right? It's about them discovering their strength, discovering what exactly can these codes do to be able to solve their problems. Now, after this discovery stage, we want them to put their skills to use and apply them to creation stage. What about knowing the world and changing the world? Well, those are things that happen 10 years or 15 years later. What we can control at this point is now, which is knowing yourself and changing yourself. At this point, I remember, there was a parent called Mrs. Lee. She has nine years old son called Lin Feng. And she asked a very good question. She asked, Teacher Didi, but Lin Feng doesn't even know what he wants to eat or do tomorrow. What makes you think that he knows how to change the world? Now, I answered, Mrs. Lee, I don't know. What we know today is that we need to get Lin Feng to know himself and change himself uh, in the process. During the circuit breaker period, uh, Lin Feng faced a problem. I remember he came to me and said, Teacher Didi, I'm very sad. I miss my best friends, right? He has two best friends and he wanted to call them and text them, but mommy didn't allow. So he created a mobile application that's called What Are You Doing? Just as what it says, right? He gets his friends to update status uh, through this app so that they know what each other are doing. And we submitted this app 
for an international competition in MIT. To our surprise, he got into the third place in the youth track. Now, this app is not groundbreaking, it's not world-changing, but he has definitely changed his world. Parents, after hearing all this, we hope that we have value added and provided a new perspective as to how you view coding as a subject. And we also hope that you can make a better decision for your child before they embark on this programming journey with us. Again, my name is Teacher Didi from Kodkun Academy and I hope to see your child in class.